Hi, hello there, it's Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing in the Barkan, the tier 6 um, battle pass tank. It's essentially a clone of the Tiger 131, the Kuromaromaini uh, tank, and the. Um, What's the other one? It's the uh, the icebreaker. who was another battle pass tank. Uh, it's interesting though. This this one, it's um, it's got slightly, well, much better front plate than the others. Its DPM slightly reduced. It's got a bit of a fast uh, traverse, um, but in uh, it's got a 150 uh, front hull. On the, on the whole, the others have got about 110. Uh, so it is quite an interesting tank. This is about my tenth game in it, I think. Uh, been getting the usual awful teams on NA um, but as you can see the reds look like they've done a big massive push down this uh, down this right hand side as is the way uh, on the NA server actually this this map is, is not a bad strategy if you all go that way um, it gives you a lot of defense this SU is really in a bad position now look at this something never to do on this map especially when the enemy's got um, a couple of TDs Dracula's a bit stranded by himself, unfortunately. You see, our 3D TDs have taken up positions on the hills behind me here, to the right. So they've got great, sh great view on that valley. The Smasher, we're tanked down at the moment. Smasher is, uh, is behind me. I'm going to be very wary of him. Just didn't quite get the reload in time for that VK. It's an interesting strategy going up on that hill. Um, especially when you know there's lots of TDs there, it's not, uh, not the wisest choice. Now I, I don't want to, we've got the Tiger P behind me so hopefully he's keeping that smasher pinned in but he's just sat in the open. I imagine that'll be a good target for him. Try and finish these down, we're still a tank down at the moment, it's 5 versus 4. This T23 should be easy to kill though if we can get a shot in. Its damage per shot is uh, not the best as well. I think it's a bit lower than the others in the same tier. Our Tiger P's uh, a bit of the dust. We've got a shot from that uh, SDSU. But again, he, he's put himself right in the way of our TDs there. Bit of a crazy move from him. We can finish him off nicely. So we're back to 3 all. We've got a good chance. We've got our two TDs on full HP I think. The Smash has now decided to move in. Why well, didn't move in before? I'm, I'm glad he didn't really. The E25's gone. But now we're still a tank down a lot to do on half HP. Try and clear the health thing is the best bet I think. This VK is taking some shots behind me. Drop down so the Smasher can't shoot me. Ah the VK's got another shot. Shame I didn't get an early shot. The, the T25 has done a good job on him, though. Now, if I was the smasher, I would just be coming straight down for me here. Forget the T25. I'm a one shot. I really don't know what this guy's doing. I mean, he's got a reload, but why isn't he uh, coming to pressure me? Let's see if we can try and get a shot on him. Oh, man, man, let's just get on his cheeks there. <laughs> Now I don't know whether to push on. It looks like he's going that way. I'm going to push on round. If, if I was him, I'd be coming straight for me. I'm a one shot. There's no way I'm going to get out of the way of that. If he comes down, I'm not really sure what he's thinking of doing there. So I'm going to run around the back. So I would still be coming for me if I was him. But it looks like he's concentrating on that T25. Who's come in nicely. Just need to make sure he's not looking at me, and we can uh, can hopefully sneak a few shots in around the back here. Is he the T25 to spot him for us? Yeah, he has. There we go. We can see he's not not facing us. No, didn't manage to track him there. No, I don't know. How he managed. He managed to track himself there when he shot the T25. So that must have been the HE splash, must it? But really, the, uh, the Smasher let this team down there a lot. Um, it's not always the uh, the good players in these OP tanks. Not really sure what happened here. 2406, 3 destroyed. 
Oh, we got an M as well. That's unexpected. Um, it's only my tenth game in this, so I'm really, really pleased with that. What was the uh, the base XP? So we came out top there. T25 did a good job. Um, I still quite can't quite my way find my way around the screen. Why they changed it? Still beyond me. So what have we got? Base XP, crew XP, free XP. Can't can't see the base XP on here. Damage dealt, free XP, crew XP, combat XP. No idea. Let's look on this one. No XP there. Doesn't show you the base XP, does it? Un interesting. Ah <laughs> oh dear, WG, what have you done to the game? Well, there we have it, the Barkan. A nice um, tier 6 mini Tiger, shall we say. It's like the Tiger 131. It's been nerfed a little bit in terms of the DPM, but the front plate is so much better. Uh, I find with the 131 you just get pen from everything. With this one, it's got 150 uh, hull, so unless people are using ACPR from tier 5, you're pretty safe. And if you angle up nicely, uh, you can get a lot of bounces in it, a lot, a lot of bounces. So, hope you enjoyed this one anyway. It's Mike signing off. Um, we'll see you for the next pass rate soon. <laughs>